Hello lovely people of the internet, I'm The Breathing Campus and today I will be showing you my Ariel Flounder mashup onto the sketch. So first of all, I just want to say that I need to move my chair. <laughs> first of all, I want to say that I love, 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 love Flounder. He is like one of my favorite Disney characters of all time, especially from childhood. I don't know why, but I just loved Flounder. He was like so cute. And he was like scared of everything. I guess I could relate because I was kind of a cautious child. I was kind of timid and scared of everything. So today I'm taking Ariel and kind of um, imagining her with Flounder's characteristics and colors. We have this one beautiful wiggly squiggly stripe on the side, kind of David Bowie style. Um, <laughs> I don't know why I went there. To kind of represent Ariel's like long, luscious, like her big bang, just hanging there, just voluptuously. I will be making that out of little sequins that I have because at the time I was thinking about this, which was like months back, I didn't and still don't have blue cream makeup for it. So I came across these, they're little sparkly um, colors, there's a few different colors in there and that would be actually easier and quicker than drawing on all of the scales. I can do that, I just don't want to take all the time to do that. And then on the other eye, and a little bit on the nose, we just have like some gold, a little bit of um, a blue eyebrow. Um, in the sketch I have blue eyelashes. I love that idea. I don't have blue eyelashes. I could take some fake eyelashes and paint them blue. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. And then just a little bit of like a gold contour kind of thing on the cheek. And then some teal or blue lips with a little bit of gold in the middle. So very David Bowie-ish, kind of. I don't know why, it just kind of took off from there. So yeah, that's it, let's get started. All right, so I just spent a lot of time prepping, getting ready to do makeupness. Um, I covered up my eyebrow, because we're gonna put sequins on that, and I covered all this side, I outlined where I want my squiggle to be, with just like a foundation, so it can easily be brushed away. I put spear gum on there, so now we're gonna just lay sequins all over the face, just stick them on. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. That's so much sparkle. I'm so happy, you guys. That took me like at least like 40 minutes. 40 minutes just one by one placing every single sequin on my face. Oh my goodness. I was sitting in one position so long that my foot fell asleep. I wasn't sitting on my foot, it just fell asleep. Oh my gosh, but this is amazing. So much fun. The reason why I didn't put spear gum and sequins around my eye is one, it just wouldn't um, work mechanically, I guess I'll say, because whenever I close up my eye, sequins would be up against each other, they would rub off and fall off. Also, more importantly, you do not want spear gum around your eye because of the fumes and everything. Um, and also when you remove it, you use a spear gum remover or what I use is um, rubbing alcohol and you do not want that anywhere near your eye because it could get in your eye and things would be really, really bad. So that is why I did not do that. So I'm going to go over with um, makeup and kind of suggest scales here and there to transition it in and out of the eye area so it isn't just like a line of stopped of uh, stop sequence. So I'll do that and uh, I'm gonna figure out how to do that now. Yay! Oh, that is gorgeous. A little bit of that on the bottom as well. And then I'm gonna go around with a light blue eyeshadow to act as a powder to set it in place because since the lid is around, um, it transfers up to the crease, it will lose the kind of the contrast that it has right now. So just to set all this in place. And it will lighten up the color a little bit, but that is okay. And then I'll just use a dark blue eyeshadow. I think I'll just put on some glitter. Glitter fixes everything. So I just need a little bit of texture. It doesn't have to even try to look like the sequins, but just have a little something so it isn't just like flat. So I'm doing like little semicircles with the white. Okay, so something like that. And I'll put a little glitter on everything. I just went over with a little bit of a liquid eyeliner, did a little cat eye, did a little thing here because I felt like it. So yeah, that is it. Glitter definitely helps. Oh, look at all that shininess. Ah. Now I'm just gonna go over and just do just a big gold eye over here. Good, 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 good. And then I'm going to take my blue crayon here. Same that we used for this lid, I'm gonna use that as a color for our eyebrow. I'm gonna 
gonna take a shimmery powder and just use that on the nose here. This is like a dream, I'm just shimmering and sparkling everywhere. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm gonna use this kind of as a contouring with a gold instead of your normal bronze or whatever shadow color you would use. looking pretty good, except I just want a little bit more gold. I like gold. Okay, so that's it for all the eyes. I did this kind of thing with the eyeliner. I did like a few sweeps here, and on the top, I brought it down because on the bottom we had this, and then I just had the two triangles here. Kind of looks like a fish. I just kind of did it at the moment. It looks cool. That's really the only reason I did that. So the only thing left to do would be the lips. So I just took some white cream and just a little bit of blue eyeshadow, just a little bit, and I was able to come up with this kind of Robin's egg blue. Yeah, if there's ever like a lipstick or a cream makeup of a color that you want, but you're not gonna use it often, and you don't really have the budget to pay for it, you can just use your eyeshadow and just mix it in with some white, and then you can just make your own colors. So now I'm gonna go and do the gold in the center. And that is your Ariel Flounder mashup look. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please click on that thumbs up button down below. It lets me know that you like it and want to see more videos like this. And I will see all of you lovelies next time. Bye!